Hey everybody, Cody here. I'm going to try doing something a little bit different <laughs> for my channel. Um, I don't usually do these, nor do I really usually watch these, but... Uh, I don't know, just something tells me to watch this. Like, I usually am very interested in some of the games that um come out in terms of being, like, uh, partner showcases stuff, so it's like, I can't help but wonder what they're going to show off here, uh, and even if they don't show off anything that's really interesting to me, per se, with all the announcements we've gotten lately, like, you know, with Mario 3D All-Stars coming out tomorrow, um, Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity coming out in November, Pikmin 3 coming out in October, uh, I'm actually interested in Puyo Puyo Tetris 2, uh, just stuff, that we have stuff that, well, there is stuff that I already want, so it's like, if there's nothing in here that I'm interested in, you know, if it, ma if it makes other people happy, then that'll be cool with me, so, I'm getting ready to start here soon, ugh, it's, uh, I'm, Slightly excited, actually. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Okay, we have a dog of some kind running through. I know it's okay. I know it's Monster Hunter, for sure. I know that. I know the Palico is anywhere, and I know this song anywhere. I just got an important letter. It looks like we've got a rampage on our hands. Uh oh. my god, what? <laughs> Hold up! <laughs> New Monster Hunter baby, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! I love Monster Hunter to death, man. Magnum Mo- oh my god? Arzuros, oh god! Oh, gee, oh! Oh God! This is for my fellow hunters. Monster Hunter Rise. Ooh! March twenty sixth, baby. All right, all right, yo, yo, doggo. Let's go, man. You I'm down. Installment in the Monster Hunter series wherever you are and however you'd like. Let's go, baby. Title, so please take a look. <laughs> Another title, huh? Wait, is this a second another Monster Hunter game? What is this, like, Stories 2 or something? <laughs> no, they wouldn't... It wouldn't be another Monster Hunter game. 
coincidence that you were given Red's kinship stone, and now a Rathalos egg. Oh my god, it's another stories game! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> we double dipping in Monster Hunter today, boys! Let's go! Let's go! Oh my god. Let's go, baby. Now granted, I never finished the original stories. I lost interest in it pretty quickly, but like... A s Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Hello everyone. Welcome to our third Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. What you've just seen is a first look. Oh my god. Monster Hunter Story 2 Wings of Ruin. Stay tuned wow. Direct after this presentation, which will provide an in-depth look at both games. Oh, okay. Partner Showcase presentation will deliver the latest information about upcoming Nintendo Switch games from our development and publishing partners. More videos in this series will be Oh my god, dude. Dude. Move to the rhythm with boxing exercises. Ooh, boxing exercise, huh? The sequel to fitness boxing where you can enjoy working out. I honestly don't mind exercise games. Grab your Joy-Con controllers and match rhythm like... There you go. Punch, punch, punch. Select your favorite music and courses. Then get to it with boxing exercises. Wham, wham. Yeah, there you go. Instructor's outfit to provide even more variety for your workouts. Several features... I heard that YMCA. I heard that. An alarm function and the ability to turn off boxing moves. Huh. The data also carries over from the previous game. So use all these features to help keep you going. Select any one of the nine instructors, including three new ones. Janice, Hero, and Karen. All of them have their own distinct personality and are here mm -hmm. to support and motivate you. Dude, two new Monster Hunter games. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Exercise. Launches on Nintendo Switch December 4th. Pre-orders begin later today. There you go, all you fitness boxing fans. <laughs> An all-new Disgaea game is here, dude! Wow, Disgaea. That's a series I haven't heard in a little bit. Disgaea 6. I'm sure people are going to be really excited about this one. I know Disgaea is pretty popular. Of Disgaea is coming to the Nintendo Switch system. Meet Zed, the protagonist of Disgaea 6. But he's not just some lowly zombie. As a result of super reincarnation, mm. he'll become stronger the more he dies. Vibrant characters full of personality mm. also make their appearance in colossal showdowns. The beloved over the top battle system makes a triumphant. Return. It's a shame that I have trouble with most RPGs, now, like staying interested in them long enough to finish them. Like, I have Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, and I haven't finished it yet. <laughs> I really should get around to that. Get ready for an experience that defies common sense, genre, and destiny. This guy is six. Defiance of Destiny is coming. Okay. Nintendo Switch Summer. Okay. Plus, the previous title, Disgaea 5 Complete, will be free to play for a limited time in a special game trial event exclusively for Nintendo Switch Online members. Oh, well, since I'm a Nintendo Switch Online member, I guess I'll tr I, I could try it to see if this guy interests me. Defend your turf in a ruthless criminal underworld. 
There's a whole lot of trouble. The name is Goldie. Way down Chicago way. I run the fortune tellers. <laughs> but if you're looking for a good time, ain't no better place. I am a performer by art, but keep my business out of the spotlight. Capone and Angelo don't really know what started their feud, but I do. I poisoned Capone's supply and made Angelo take the fall. These people are merely players in my symphony. The world is my stage and I am the star. And we are about to put on a big show. You know that no one ever really wins. I'm coming for her and again. And if you're looking for salvation, come and get it. You know you ain't gonna find it in. Mon chéri. The Empire of Sea. Okay. <laughs> A terrifying threat draws near in this tactical shooter. We closed the trap on Hitler's North Africa campaign. But what next? I'm headed for San Salini, a secluded island to Italy's southwest. My target is General Tobias Schmidt. Ought to be a straightforward mission, with no surprises. Wasn't that the Empire of Sin game? Wasn't that shown off like some time ago? Am I crazy on that? I could have sworn like was it E3 last year or the year before or something like that? It's like we heard of Empire of Sin. Did it really take that long to finish? I'm not interested in that because tactical shooters really aren't my thing. Here's a quick look at what else is coming to Nintendo Switch this month. Ooh, this month? It's a little too quiet in the long dark. Brave the quiet apocalypse in this exploration survival game. You're on your own as you journey through a frozen wilderness in the aftermath of a geomagnetic <laughs> disaster. A chilling narrative awaits in the winter mute story mode. Or enjoy hours of permadeath survival gameplay. Experience true survival on Nintendo Switch later today. Okay. The fairway is open in PGA Tour 2K21. <laughs> Play against the pros on visually Golf, baby! Hit the links Bring me, give me a new Mario Golf game. Come on, we haven't had one in a while. I love Mario Golf. A physical version of this game swings onto Nintendo Switch September 25th. Defy the God of the Dead in this Greek mythology-inspired dungeon crawler. Thousands of story events and ability combinations ensure a unique experience each time you hack and slash your way out of the underworld, wielding the powers of mythical weapons of Olympus to aid in your escape. Hades comes to Nintendo Switch later today. Not bad looking. Dive into the fantastic land of Wonderworld. The hell? Welcome to Wonderworld. Leo and Oh, it's a Square Enix game. No wonder it looks weird. <laughs> It's square, you know it's gonna look interesting at least. Including an ocean stage, a wind stage, and more. As Leo and Emma, you'll don costumes to wield a variety of abilities. <laughs> okay. That's neat. Float in the air. Or pack powerful punches to destroy giant blocks. There are over 80 costumes to find. Use each costume's abilities and collect hidden statues to progress to new stages. Huh. Menacing bosses await at the end of each stage. You can also pass a Joy-Con controller to your friend in a co-op mode. Combine your abilities and navigate through stages together. Hmm. Balan is waiting for you. Balan Wonderworld will make its grand entrance on Nintendo Switch in hmm. 2021. Okay. Sure. Your new life in a fantasy world is about to be. I remember when they announced Rune Factory 5 existed. I had a couple friends who got excited for this because they love Rune Factory. I my personally had never even heard of the series until they announced 5. <laughs> or well, 
the remake of four and five. Like I I I don't know what this series is. No memories. You'll get a fresh start in the rural town of Rigbarth as a peacekeeping ranger. In addition to protecting the town, your day-to-day -day will include harvesting crops <laughs> and fishing in the river. You may even find a special someone to start dating, fall in love, and get married. Oh. A new okay. battle system allows you to perform combo attacks with allies to take down monsters. Begin your life anew in a fantasy world when Rune Factory 5 comes to Nintendo Switch in 2021. All right, this next title will be our last announcement. Cool. What you got? Moon Studios. Is that Ori? I've been meaning to play Ori in the Blind Forest. Is this another Ori game? It looks like Ori. I'm sure some people are probably losing their fucking minds right now. Yeah, this looks like Ori. Oh, it's Ori and the Will of the Wisps. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ooh, later today. For those that, I guess, want to play Ori and the Will of the Wisps again, there you go. That game's been out, right? Ooh, hello. What? Wow. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for Monster Hunter Direct. Okay, I'll stay tuned. All right. <laughs> Hello there, everyone. I'm Ryozo Sujimoto. Hello, Ryozo. Ryozo. In this Direct, we'll be showing off the latest games in the Monster Hunter series. Cool. To kick things off, please take a look at this announcement trailer. Okay. Oh, we saw this already. I just got an important letter. It looks like we've got a rampage on our hands. You see, the thing is. I had heard rumors for a while that Capcom had said that Monster Hunter would get it would maybe get another exclusive title. I wasn't expecting two. <laughs> Great Izuchi, are you like the Jaggy slash Jagras and and uh, Great Macau, that kind of thing. Is known as Magnamalo. Magnamalo. He looks cool. You can ride doggos into battle. I'm all for that, man, honestly. I can't help but wonder what, like, online multiplayer for this is going to be like. Because that's half of the fun of Monster Hunter playing online with friends.
Shall we go? I... Wow, man. Just wow. <laughs> Just wow. So, what did you think about Monster Hunter Rise? It looks great. Rise in the title refers to the idea of hunters running up cliffs and making use of the verticality of the environment, as well as our desire to create a game that gets lots of people around the world bursting with excitement. Monster Hunter is a hunting action game series where players get to confront huge monsters in majestic natural environments. It's been 16 years since the debut of the series. Wow, 16 this new years. Take advantage of the portability of the Nintendo Switch to provide a Monster Hunter experience that anyone can enjoy whenever and wherever they want. It kicked out Arjur's ass. Now, before we talk more about the game itself, I'd like to introduce Yasunori Ichinose, the game's director. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello, I'm sir. Yasunori Ichinose, the director. It's nice to be here today. First, I'd like to talk about the new actions we've added to this game. Okay. This game will let you go to all kinds of places on the map, such as cliffs and elevated platforms. These new actions are made possible. Bro, this game looks like it's gonna be insane. The player carries several of these small bugs. I'm letting you guys know, I have spent over 400 hours in Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. Over 400 hours, closer to 600 hours in 4 Ultimate. A little bit, not as much time in World, admittedly. I didn't play much of World. I am ready to fight Fatalis when he comes out next month, though. So it's just like. I haven't played every single Monster Hunter game. In fact, my first was 3 Ultimate on Wii U. And, uh, yeah. But, I've, thanks to my, probably my best friend, uh, it's become one of my favorite video game series, and I'm so glad the Switch is getting two new games. I'm iffy more on Stories 2, because, again, I didn't finish Stories. I kind of lost interest partway through Stories. But Rise, I might get and play the hell out of. We've made sure to create the locales to make full use of the Wirebug's abilities. Just look at this. Now I'd like to tell you a little bit about one of the new areas in this game, which we shrine already showed ruins. a glimpse of in the trailer just now, called the Shrine Ruins. From the starting camp, you can run down the mountain mm. to get to the main field. This area is characterized by the scattered ruins of an ancient shrine, hence the name. I can't explain in too much detail, but there are lots of things to discover across each locale, so I hope you take the time to explore when going on your hunts. Next, I'd like to show you a new type of canine buddy known as a Palamute. Palamute! <laughs> Palamute! Monster Hunter has doggos! <laughs> While you're riding one, your stamina doesn't decrease, so you can keep running at high speed for as long as you want. You'll also be able to perform various actions, like using certain items or recovering your health. As an attacker type, they will help you out in various ways. Naturally, the feline palico from past games also make their return again. They will help you out as a support type. You can take two buddies with you on a quest, and you are free to decide which combination of buddies you want. In multiplayer, each hunter can bring one buddy with them. Next, I'd like to talk about the new monsters. Oh, this is the part I'm really interested in. I love learning about new monsters. Let's go! First, this is the flagship monster for this game, Magna Malo. Magna Malo. Look at him! But it's a fearsome fanged wyvern with a strong air of menace about it. 
The next monster is Acnosom. Acnosom. Acnosom is a bird wyvern that attacks hunters with its characteristic crest. By changing its shape and using it as a Oh, weapon. good lord. Oh! This monster is the bird wyvern Great Izuchi. Great Izuchi. The characteristic is that it tends to move around in groups of three, attacking all at once or in succession. The key to hunting them lies in how you defend against these attacks. Okay. And this is the amphibian Tetronodon. Tetronodon. It swallows up gravel to expand its body and then charges at hunters. As its body changes, so do its attacks. So you'll need to change your approach on the fly while dealing with them. Okay. As you can see, Tetronodon and Arzuros are in a fight here. We are working on new gameplay elements that arise through fights between monsters. We'll share more about this at a later date. Of course, there are other returning monsters including Arzuros and plenty of new monsters too. So please look forward to more monster info in the future. Next, I look I'd like forward to, show to your it. Base in this game. Your base in this game is called Kamura Village. You'll find all the conveniences a hunter needs, like the smithy and other facilities, and all kinds of colorful characters. The story in this game unfolds through the characters of this village. I just got an important letter. It looks like we've got a rampage on our hands. I can't say anything yet about the Rampage, but we are aiming to provide a new experience with this, so please look forward to future announcements. We hope you liked what we've shown so far. I do. Off, I'd like to share the release date and the details on the different versions. As we announced in the trailer, the game will release on March 26, 2021, nice. and you'll be able to choose from the following versions the standard edition, and the deluxe edition with a bundle of recommended DLC. Supply will be limited, but all versions will include special layered armor for your Palamute and Palico, plus a novice talisman as pre-order bonuses. Also, we will be releasing these three amiibo for Monster Hunter. There's gonna be Monster Hunter amiibo! Dude! Using these amiibo lets you unlock special layered armor. On top what? of that, you can also enter a daily lottery in the game for a variety of useful items. We will provide more details on these amiibo in the future. Dude! You'll get them along with the game. The game will also have some compatibility features with Monster Hunter Stories 2, which we also announced today. Please look forward to more information on that as well. For more information about Monster Hunter, I'll Rock, take please check out all this website, juicy, tasty information. Pre-orders for the download version will start shortly after this Monster Hunter Direct. Oh, you know I'm going to get a physical version. I pr I'm the kind of guy I prefer physical games. I prefer actually holding something in my hand. Please check with your local retailer for pre-order information. That's all for Monster Hunter Rise, for now. But Mr. Ichinose has a few final words for you. Thank you for watching this introduction of Monster Hunter Rise. No, thank you for showing us this. ...of this new Monster Hunter game. Your reaction to this announcement will give us strength and motivation. So please let us know what you think. Please look forward to future updates. We hope you'll enjoy Monster Hunter Rise. All right, next up, it's my pleasure to introduce the newest RPG in the Monster Hunter series, Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin. Please take a look. Is it just gonna be the trailer from earlier again? Yeah, all right.
no mere coincidence that you were given Red's kinship stone, and now a Rathalos egg. This is destiny. I'm so glad. Still alive. I thought I'd never see you again. Blessing emerged. Quick, hurry! We don't know if it's the right monster. Our mission is to see if it truly has catastrophic power. Rathalos are disappearing from their natural habitats. An Agena? I honestly might have to try this game. <laughs> Stories 2, let's go, Wings of Ruin. In this game, you'll become a monster rider, traveling the world with your monster companions as you tackle quests and experience a rich story set in the Monster Hunter universe. You'll be joined on your adventure by a number of popular monsters from the main series, <laughs> and the bonds you forge together will have far-reaching implications as the plot unfolds. Our emotional story begins with the mass disappearance of Rathalos from around the world. As the descendant of the legendary writer named Red, you have a fateful encounter with a Wyverian girl who has been entrusted with an egg. I can't say much more at this point in time, but just as the title of story suggests, we're working hard to provide fans with a fantastic narrative worthy of the series. On top of that, we're including elements that connect this game with Monster Hunter Rise, so please look forward to that as well. With the game slated for release in summer 2021, we hope that Monster Hunter fans and all fans of RPGs in general will enjoy Monster Hunter Stories 2. Wings of Ruin. We can't wait to reveal more about this game in the future, so stay tuned. Today, we introduced you to two new titles, Monster Hunter Rise and Monster Hunter Stories 2. We've created official websites and social media accounts for each title. Nice. So go check them out. We are also planning to provide more updates at TGS 2020 Online on September 25th and Capcom Ooh. TGS Live 2020 Wait. on September 26th. Oh god, I'm gonna have to watch those! For more information. Thank you for watching this Monster Hunter Direct. I am so glad I watched this, and let's go, two new Monster Hunter games, bruh.